Something remarkable is happening with our jet stream pattern right now, and what I'm about to reveal could completely reshape your winter weather expectations. Fresh data just came in showing the most intriguing atmospheric setup we've witnessed all season long, and the implications are absolutely fascinating. We're tracking record-challenging warmth building across the West and Heartland today, while simultaneously monitoring a complex winter storm targeting the East Coast. This isn't your typical January weather pattern. We're witnessing what meteorologists call a textbook atmospheric divergence that happens maybe once every few winters. Looking at the winter storm outlook for Thursday into Friday, January 15th through 16th, confidence is rapidly increasing for significant impacts. The I-95 corridor is squarely in the crosshairs, with major metropolitan areas like Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Boston all facing potential heavy impacts. What makes this setup particularly intriguing is how three separate energy systems are trying to phase together in what could become a blockbuster event. Before we dive deeper into this developing situation, I want you to drop your location in the comments section right now because I'll be providing city-specific updates throughout this analysis. Now here's where this story takes a fascinating turn. The latest GFS model shows these systems attempting to link up in ways that could produce truly significant snowfall totals. But I have to be completely transparent with you because this is also one of the most challenging weather patterns to forecast accurately in the entire United States. As we witness these incredible atmospheric dynamics unfolding, I'm reminded that these complex weather patterns reflect the amazing intricacy of God's creation working in ways beyond our full understanding. The technical details are absolutely captivating. We're seeing a clipper system diving down into the upper peninsula of Michigan, dropping snow across northern Wisconsin and Minnesota. This northern energy will also impact southern portions of Canada near Toronto, extending up towards Ottawa and Quebec with accumulating snowfall. But here's what makes this pattern so potentially explosive. We've got a sharp cold front that's actually going to spark convection while warm, moist Gulf air surges northward. Picture three distinct energy systems all trying to link together. And if even two of them can successfully phase, we're looking at a storm strong enough to be quite impactful. Some earlier model runs were actually showing the cold air penetrating far enough south to transform all of this moisture into accumulating snow. The latest GFS shows rain developing on Wednesday around 1 p.m., but we need to understand that places in the Appalachian Mountains could easily see snow as early as Wednesday. What's particularly noteworthy is this separate area of energy positioned further south that could phase with the main storm system, creating multiple moving parts. Historically speaking, forecast models struggle significantly with these complex phasing scenarios, which is why we're seeing such variability in the solutions. Like this video right now if you want continued detailed updates because it's absolutely possible that all of this energy phases together into one robust storm. Such a scenario could potentially hammer the Appalachian Mountain region then surge up through the mid-Atlantic and into the New England area with significant accumulations. However, as of this moment, everything appears somewhat disconnected, which explains why the winter storm outlook shows only a 15% probability. But here's what has me paying extremely close attention. Just a couple of model runs showing better connection could completely change this forecast toward major nor'easter potential. I don't want to create unnecessary hype, but we also can't ignore the realistic possibility of a significant connected storm system developing. The alternative scenario involves a nasty, disconnected mess where some areas receive snow, many areas get just rain, resulting in an overall less impactful event. For our viewers in Atlanta, you'll likely see only rain from this system, but the atmospheric setup is positioning much more interesting possibilities further north. Right now, the cold front appears to be moving through the Ohio Valley on Wednesday into Thursday, and this timing is absolutely critical. As the cold air moves over the Great Lakes, it's going to activate what meteorologists call the lake effect machine across all the major lakes. Cleveland and Buffalo residents should prepare for enhanced lake effect snow production that could persist for several days beyond the main storm system. 
We're also tracking rain showers stretching all the way down into Alabama and Mississippi, with snow developing on the backside of these precipitation areas. The models show a somewhat deepening low pressure system positioning itself over the New England area on Thursday. And this is where things get really interesting. Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine are positioned for heavy snow potential, though the latest GFS run keeps Boston primarily in a rain scenario. Share this analysis with anyone who might be impacted, because we're watching three different systems that could either remain disconnected or link up dramatically. The current GFS solution suggests these systems won't phase together significantly, but earlier runs showed much more interesting and impactful scenarios. You've probably seen some of the snow maps going viral on social media platforms, but please understand that nothing is set in stone at this point. It doesn't look like a massive snowstorm in the current data, but the potential absolutely exists, and that's exactly what we're monitoring so closely. For our Philadelphia area viewers, this could range anywhere from a significant snow event to primarily rain, depending on how these energy systems interact. If there's any substantial change in this pattern, I promise you'll be among the first to know because I'll be tracking every model update. Now let's examine the broader temperature pattern because this is where the story becomes absolutely fascinating from a meteorological perspective. We're witnessing record challenging warmth building across western regions while cold air masses position themselves for a dramatic eastward plunge. Chicago residents should expect temperatures to drop significantly as we progress through this week with the lake effect snow machine becoming increasingly active. The temperature contrasts we're tracking are absolutely remarkable. We could see 40 to 50 degree differences within just a few hundred miles of each other. Denver and Salt Lake City are positioned for continued mild conditions, while eastern cities prepare for a dramatic atmospheric transition. Detroit area residents should prepare for not just the main storm system, but also sustained lake effect snow production from Lake Huron and Lake Erie. What makes this pattern particularly noteworthy is how the jet stream configuration supports multiple weather opportunities extending well into late January. Comment below with your specific location because I want to provide targeted insights for your area as this dynamic pattern continues evolving. Looking beyond this immediate storm threat, the extended pattern suggests we're entering what I call Clipper Town. Recurring Clipper systems every few days. The GFS model shows clipper after clipper with honestly non-stop lake effect snow potential for areas like southwest Michigan over the next couple of weeks. If these model projections verify, southwest Michigan could literally get buried under significant snow accumulation from this relentless pattern. Minneapolis and St. Paul area residents should expect multiple snow events as these clipper systems track through your region with remarkable regularity. There's essentially a non-stop plume of lake effect snow shown in the data, with additional clippers adding to accumulations every couple of days. I want to mention something that I'm genuinely proud of. Our winter prediction made this past summer has been remarkably accurate so far. We specifically called this recurring clipper pattern and the overall atmospheric configuration we're now witnessing across the country. While there are a couple of details that haven't aligned perfectly, winter isn't over yet, and we're performing quite well with our seasonal outlook. Pittsburgh residents should understand that you're positioned in an interesting zone where you could see significant impacts from multiple different systems. The recurring clipper pattern will continue delivering snow opportunities, and eventually we're going to see the southern jet stream become much more active. When more moisture makes it into the southern United States, we'll have numerous opportunities for major east coast snowstorms because all the ingredients are aligning. This is exactly the atmospheric pattern that winter weather enthusiasts look for when hoping for significant snowstorm development. The key factor becomes ensuring those pieces of energy connect at precisely the right time and location for maximum impact. Right now, the GFS doesn't show anything extraordinarily significant beyond this week, but I have to tell you something important. My meteorological instincts are telling me that we're positioned for some truly impressive winter weather events and one of these storms will eventually work out perfectly. I can't tell you exactly which system will be the blockbuster, so you absolutely need to subscribe and follow along to find out.
Richmond and Norfolk area residents should pay particular attention because you're in that critical transition zone where rain could easily become snow. The temperature profiles across your region will be absolutely crucial in determining whether this becomes a rain event or a significant snow producer. For our viewers in Nashville and Louisville, you're far enough south that this particular system will likely bring mainly rain, but future opportunities look much more promising. What's fascinating about this overall pattern is how it sets up sustained winter weather potential rather than just isolated events. Charlotte and Raleigh residents should monitor these developments closely because when the southern jet stream becomes more active, your snow chances increase dramatically. The atmospheric momentum clearly favors continued winter weather activity with multiple opportunities for significant accumulating snow events. Milwaukee area residents need to prepare for sustained lake effect snow production from Lake Michigan, potentially lasting several days beyond the main system. Boston and the broader New England corridor remain in an interesting position where slight track adjustments could mean the difference between rain and heavy snow. Kansas City and St. Louis area residents should expect multiple clipper systems to impact your region over the next several weeks with accumulating snowfall. The extended forecast pattern supports exactly what winter weather enthusiasts have been hoping to see, sustained activity rather than quiet conditions. Columbus and Cincinnati residents are positioned in an area that could see impacts from both clipper systems and potential coastal storm developments. What makes this pattern particularly exciting is how multiple energy sources are available to create various winter weather scenarios over the coming weeks. Syracuse and Rochester area residents should prepare for enhanced lake effect snow production that could create significant accumulation zones downwind of the lakes. The key message for everyone is that we're transitioning into a much more active winter weather pattern compared to what we experienced earlier this season. Tell me in the comments what specific aspects of your local weather you're most curious about because I love providing detailed regional analysis. Hartford and Providence area residents should understand that you're in a zone where elevation and exact storm track will be absolutely critical factors. The temperature gradients across southern New England will determine whether this becomes a significant snow event or primarily a rain producer. Portland, Maine residents are positioned well for accumulating snow from this system with the potential for several inches depending on final storm development. What's most encouraging about this overall pattern is how it maintains winter weather potential even after this immediate storm system passes through. Albany and Burlington area residents should prepare for multiple snow opportunities as these clipper systems track through your region with impressive regularity. The Great Lakes region faces particularly active conditions with sustained lake effect snow potential, creating significant local accumulation variations. Tampa and Miami residents won't see direct impacts from these northern systems, but share this information with friends and family who might be affected. The confidence level continues increasing with each model run as we approach this critical Thursday through Friday time frame for East Coast impacts. For our international viewers, this pattern represents classic North American winter weather dynamics operating at peak efficiency and complexity. Birmingham and Montgomery residents should expect mainly rain from this system, but the atmospheric setup suggests more interesting possibilities developing later. The Southern Stream Moisture Transport Mechanism is beginning to show signs of increased activity, which historically produces major winter storm opportunities. Little Rock and Memphis area residents should monitor future developments because when Southern moisture increases, your winter weather chances improve dramatically. What we're witnessing represents a fundamental shift from the quiet early winter pattern into something much more dynamic and potentially impactful. The model consensus suggests sustained winter weather activity rather than isolated events, creating multiple opportunities for significant accumulating snow. Harrisburg and Scranton area residents are positioned in terrain that could enhance snowfall totals through orographic lift effects in the Appalachian Mountains. The elevation differences across Pennsylvania will create fascinating microclimates where snow accumulations could vary dramatically over short distances. Roanoke and Lynchburg residents should pay attention because you're in that critical elevation zone where significant snow accumulation becomes much more likely. The extended range outlook maintains optimism for winter weather enthusiasts across the eastern two-thirds of the United States over the coming weeks. 
Atlantic City and Wilmington area residents face interesting dynamics where coastal influences could significantly impact precipitation type and accumulation totals. Hit that notification bell right now so you receive immediate updates as these developing systems approach and evolve over the next several days. The most significant aspect of this entire pattern is how it creates sustained winter weather potential extending well beyond this immediate Thursday-Friday system. For those following our detailed winter weather coverage, this represents exactly the type of active pattern we've been anticipating for mid-January. Manchester and Concord area residents should prepare for accumulating snow with this system, though exact amounts depend on final energy phasing and track. The atmospheric setup suggests we're entering the most active phase of winter weather we've experienced this season across the eastern United States. Your engagement helps this critical weather information reach people who need accurate forecasting. So please share this analysis with your networks. Trenton and Camden area residents should understand that you're positioned where slight storm track adjustments could dramatically change your snowfall potential. The next 48 hours of model data will be absolutely crucial for determining whether this develops into a significant nor'easter or remains a more modest system. What makes this forecast particularly challenging is how three separate energy systems must coordinate perfectly to produce maximum impact scenarios. Charleston and Savannah residents won't see direct impacts, but please share this information with anyone who might be traveling to affected regions. The comment section is the perfect place for you to share current weather conditions in your area and ask specific questions about your location. I'll continue providing detailed responses to location-specific questions as this dynamic weather pattern continues evolving over the coming days. Bridgeport and New Haven area residents should monitor developments closely because you're positioned where coastal dynamics significantly influence final outcomes. Remember that winter weather preparation includes checking emergency supplies, planning alternative transportation, and staying informed through reliable weather sources. This pattern represents exactly what meteorologists study when examining optimal winter storm development across the eastern United States. The combination of available moisture, temperature gradients, and atmospheric dynamics creates rarely seen opportunities for significant winter weather events. What happens over the next week could establish the template for how we remember the remainder of winter 2025 across the eastern seaboard. Springfield and Holyoke area residents should prepare for potential accumulating snow with amounts heavily dependent on exact storm track and timing. The pattern evolution suggests multiple opportunities for winter weather rather than this single event, maintaining optimism for sustained activity. Please continue following our comprehensive winter weather coverage because we'll be tracking every development as these fascinating atmospheric patterns unfold. Waterbury and Danbury residents should understand that elevation will play a crucial role in determining final precipitation type and accumulation amounts. The confidence in sustained winter weather activity continues growing as multiple modeling systems converge on similar atmospheric pattern evolution. Thank you for watching this comprehensive analysis of what could become a truly significant winter weather pattern across the eastern United States. Smash that like button if this detailed breakdown helped you understand the developing situation. And subscribe for continued expert coverage. Stay weather aware, stay prepared, and remember that accurate information combined with proper preparation keeps communities safe during winter storms. I'll continue monitoring every model update and atmospheric development providing you with the most current information as this pattern evolves. This represents exactly the type of dynamic winter weather situation that makes meteorology so fascinating and winter storm forecasting so challenging. Until our next update, monitor local conditions carefully, follow official warnings when issued, and keep checking back for the latest developments in this evolving situation.